go, greetings. I am lies, and I use she, her. And I am scandal, and I use they, them. And let's play a game together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder. You're far younger than I imagined. Am I? You're even more magnificent than I remember. Okay, but like, look at how cheeky Faust looks. <laughs> That's <laughs> adorable. I love Faust, but also I would have loved to keep, like, Kohai going, well, there's the snake, basically. Right. Curling up into Astra stuff. I'd also just be like, 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 um, Portia just being like, there's the snake. Wait, is it your snake? <laughs> Wait, it's your snake. You're, it's your, the one. Or the, Astra. you. <laughs> there's a snake on you. <laughs> there's a snake on your shoulder! Yes, there's a snake in my boot. Remember? I was a lot long younger when you came to town. A face in the crowd at your arrival, all those years ago. What a twist of fate does we should have a first meeting again. I'll try to make a lasting impression. It sounds like you already did that, my good individual. I was about to say, that was the edgiest fucking thing I've ever seen Astra do. And, like, again, yeah. I'm not opposed to learning more about Astra, but that's so... Wildly... Contrast? Like, the contrast is very big compared to the other two routes. Uh-huh, it was really wild. Also, I'm like, where are all the guards now? I guess just standing there? Right. Suddenly, mm -hmm. like, so, like, they, they go to die for the thing, it dissolves, and then there's Astra, and then she's like, oh, you're far younger than I imagined. All of them just freezing there. Like, what do we do? Do we do something? Do we do nothing? All of them, like, on ready, just prepared? The Chamberlain, I literally told you about this. You guys uh, are all Chamberlain, done. at ease, whispering. Just, just, Stop just, that! Just, bitch! Yeah. That being said, I hope you'll forgive me if this is out of line. Nadia quirks a brow as Astra approaches me, eyes fixed on my face. He throws his arms around me and squeezes me tight. Faust is also getting squeezed. It's very nice. Uh, because you're in a formal situation where you've just met the ruler of your um, kingdom. Your, uh, I, I understand, like, the lack of formality there to some degree, but I feel like that was more, like, understandable. So, with two people who would more likely on. know each other versus, like, because I thought he was going to hug Nadia. Maybe it's That's, a cultural thing. That would be really cool. Maybe... Hugging and not like maybe just casually hugging someone in front of you, or when you haven't had all the introductions and formalities dealt with yet, and you have an entire retinue of guards all standing there, not being dismissed properly and everything. It's um, it's not appropriate protocol to just go and then squeeze your apprentice. Okay, so also though a weird thing is is that if you're going to go with the Orientalism coding, uh -huh. which is an incredibly broad and obviously very objectifying and very skewed towards a certain direction. Mm -hmm. I always thought one of those things was like, so usually European views of Orientalism, in my experience, was that they were overly touchy. Well, the thing is, is, okay, so... I'm if wondering if that's writing... supposed to make Nadia, though, like, much more, basically, more European-coded, is that she is more withdrawn, and him going, I apologize for this, because we're all much more huggy than you, because she's supposed to be the one who's in charge, despite the fact that... There are actually a lot of cultures who are far more physical than... Than Americans. Or, say, or, or Americans or uh, even other, like just other or, parts of Europe. he could be apologizing because he's taking his attention off of her and not continuing the conversation with her. And it could have nothing to do with the embrace. That's true. It could be, I apologize because I'm not going to pay attention to you at all while I squish my apprentice. It's true. When I squeeze Kohai, who is very, very... Also, visible. also, you're going to have to forgive me. I get, like, today, I just realized as you're recording this, that I have, like, was sitting on vaguely going, hmm, that gave me massive Prince of Persia vibes because of the sand and the falling apart. Oh, you had a sand yeah, thing fair, that went off fair. to go do something. All right. Um, Squeak. squeezes me tight. Huh. Huh. I feel like his heart is overflowing, spilling into mine, making my chest drum all the way out to my fingertips as he clutches back. Oh. I hug you back! Oh my god! I squeeze you so I Oh, I careful. I do not squish this thing. Faust, Faust, squish. Faust, squish, squish, squish. Uh, sorry. Little face. It's okay. It's okay. Hug your neck. Squish. Squish. <laughs> you hit okay, I squeeze Faust. the two of you together. Squish. Yeah. Squish. <laughs> yeah. Gentle squishes. Squeeze. Gentle? Uh, his back. Squeeze. I see you missed your apprentice. How sweet. They have been a most 
Entertaining guest. Who's literally done nothing, apparently. Of course. Wherever they go, double follows. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Aye. He says this, uh, clinging onto you, squeezed uh, tightly tight. against mm. you. Baby. Face. Never a dull moment. Astra's cheek pressed against Kohai's. Mike. Never a dull moment. Never. I was wondering <laughs> if I could take them out for the day. Astra just holding, holding. tightly, arms completely gripped around, like a, a huge clearly eyes, but holding. possessively giving the puppy dog eyes to Nadia. This thing that I am holding, this the mine can ha- can has. I should have. Yes. Would, uh, if, should I, have? if I give you the giant sparkly puppy dog eyes, will you just go? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I could take them out for the day. Hmm. We did lose time yesterday, but that was no fault of theirs. We don't know what happened yesterday. No, no, we do. Remember, Portia said that she had a massive headache yesterday, so she couldn't do anything. Oh, okay. Right. It was no fault of theirs. Okay, okay. That bit. Yes. Yes. Naturally, I'll be here. I'll be helping them. Hone their abilities. Surely that will help in the manhunt. Uh, Faust looks grumpy going, you keep hugging, but you're not hugging me. Mm -hmm. That is Faust pouting going, you are not paying attention to me in this hug. Faust. Me. Me. I just like, they're just still embraced tightly. Kohai just gently like, like, just gently like rubbing like, fingers against his back. Like I hold him. You're real. And I just la, gently la, la, like, la, 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 la. yeah, just like hold tight and just gently pet his back a little bit. Like, but, but subtly, so it's not too obvious. Uh-huh. I just lean in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then by all means, go right ahead. Enjoy your lesson. Kohai, Asra. I, I really actually do wonder Mm-hmm. If Nadia's just playing polite here, enjoy your lesson. Mm-hmm. I don't assume you'll be learning anything, but it's fine. Which I also think is very funny. What I really way. want to do is make sure that Astro's in a good mood because he's a very powerful magician and I would like to have access to him. Yeah, but for some reason, we've also been here and we were reportedly a very powerful magician, but seemingly we mm. have become completely useless. But first. But. 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 I simply must admire your snake who is crunched in the hug you were having. Uh, such a lovely morph. They used morph. There it is, everybody. Or well, somebody has Where did you find her? Oh, no. She was a gift. I. Are we suggesting that this is an actual coloration or that it's just that you have, this is a regular breed of snake here in the Arcana, but an unusual morph pattern? I, honestly, that would be really neat. Like I said, um, you can have fairly, like, I would love to see more animals in the Arcana. There is so much connection to them without knowing anything about what the like general populace of animals is like at all. Uh huh. Yeah. It's it's kind of wild. She was a gift. Still holding on to Kohai. Kohai still holding on to him. How long do we get she, to hug? She was a gift. I'm talking about the snake clearly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because that, that is the the, you know, the only she that mm. I am holding. Yep. 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 She, she was, was a, a gift. gift. A fine gift indeed. Goodbye for now, Kohai. Do return in one piece. First, I'd like a look at your snake, which I haven't gotten, but I've said it. And now get out of here. Ah. Uh, so I would like to look at her, and I'd like to stop you to tell you this, but I'm not going to do it. Did I'm you watch that too? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Also, I find that to be really strange. She was a gift, and that's all you're, you don't go, oh, a gift? May I inquire as to where from? No, uh, a gift from who or from, from where? Host? Yeah. I'm like, or how long have you had her? Like, I especially using the, oh my god, it's a morph. Clearly, okay, so casually, I haven't run into a lot of people that know just know that word offhandedly. You have to it's be true. around somebody who's actually been around reptiles, and particularly snakes. Or just really um, loved them and studied them. You mm-hmm. know, like the, the culture around them. But like I said, them. been around snakes. Like, even if it's just you online. are been around them online. Yes, that's fair. Uh, spent a lot of time in the library. You've done a lot of research on reptiles, yep. etc. But I'm like, it really is like, so to have someone just go, it's a morph. It's like somebody casually going, how many hands high is your horse? Uh-huh. Unless you're a horse person, you'd be like, what? Or Because someone... hands is still not very popular. As a measurement. No, no just... and it really is a horse crowd thing. So you have a morph as a part of the thing. I'm like, Nadia clearly knows snakes. So I would be like, dude, I want to know. Tell what, me. What's your connection to snakes, Nadia? Uh-huh. Going like, do you have them culturally as like a big part of maybe something you believe Does in? Does one of your siblings have snakes? Right. Do you guys have a snake area along with your mouse- mousery? Yeah, because I can honestly just see somebody going, wow, what pretty color. What what a pretty pattern. Uh-huh. Like that's what usually you have people who don't know much about snakes usually say. Uh-huh. You don't get a, what morph. a gorgeous morph. Nope. 
yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's that's very interesting. I'd be interested where she, as a character, gets that from, like what her connection to general snake culture well, is. Well, and now that makes me want to have her like do more with snakes. Also, I would be very. I, I'm I'm also like, why are you like? I'd like to, and you know, first before you leave, and then actually no, just bitch go. Like I, a, a fine gift indeed. You learned nothing about her. You didn't look at her closely. She's also still tucked in Astro's clothes and squished in a hug. Uh huh. Little face. Her little head in, on 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 like somebody's head. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Yep, on Kohai's head. Curled up around Astra's neck, head on Kohai's head. Mm-hmm. Going, we can't actually move our cheeks apart, otherwise it would disturb Faust. And you can't disturb rude. Faust. That's, yes, That's actually why we're still hugging. We're actually just going to sidestep out here like crab walk out so Faust is not disturbed. With our cheeks <laughs> Faust together. Faust mm. About me. It's about me. <laughs> Do return in one piece. Oh, and then immediately Astra slams that hat back on. And Faust curls up with a scarf. Gone. Foop. We pass under the veranda curtain. I I do find it unusual that Nadia did not look closer at Faust. Faust is very beautiful, and it sounded like that's what she wanted to do. It's strange, walking side by side down the grand hall with him, because the veranda curtain leads immediately into the grand hall and not into, you know, some other room, which I kind of thought that it did, but I am not knowing the, um, basically... Uh, arrangement of the palace well yet mm. and that is fine um so with him he's so at ease here it is like a dream is he not at ease in other places he doesn't like the shop because yes. that's what i immediately just heard he's not usually at ease when you're alone together that's what i'm getting possibly because you're almost always alone together yeah that's true uh-huh. and now here you've at least got the excuse of there could potentially be anyone around at any corner and technically, you should still have guards posted intermittently based on all, well, of, my, again, all of my fantasy tropes. All of the guards are still there, and so is the Chamberlain, and so is Portia, and none of them interacted at all. They'll just... And Portia didn't go, oh, it's, it's your snake. snake. Yeah. They didn't wrap up Portia's part of the snake experience at all, and I'm grumpy about it. I'm like, actually Portia just... just stayed there silently. I'm actually kind of wondering, okay, so this is, this is just me. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't mean this poorly, but I have no other way to put it, because it's just weird. I'm going... You really just have Nadia say, oh, what a pretty morph, in order to just be like, she's smart, because she or knows to the say, word morph. Clearly the writers know what, this, what, what uh, no snake terminology. Right. Like, was it not even a character thing? Was it just we wanted to use that word? Yeah. Also, why did you forget Pasha was there? <sighs> and I, again, I would love... Portia, not Pasha. Uh, sorry, Portia, Portia. I would just love it if there was a, just a tiny little scene of like, you know, while Astra speaks with Nadia, the Chamberlain quietly ushers out all the flustered guards. Yeah, because I feel like Kohai would notice that. Your character wouldn't. I'm just like, there's so many weird... Also, I mean, like, fine. the guards part as we go under the curtain exiting the veranda. Right, and like, they all literally. Look, some of them look a little flustered and just embarrassed. Still... While the, the Chamberlain gives them some shit, basically. Right, <laughs> like, like, just still... You don't have to have them have an actual have... conversation. You could just be like, clearly, the, the Chamberlain is worrying at them because they were doofuses Just acknowledge that the people who were there in the scene are still, still there. there. Right? It feels like a dream. No, but I only have eyes oh. for Asra. Didn't we just get up and it's bright and early in the morning and now it's suddenly nighttime? It took us all day to walk out of the castle. Because, uh, like, literally, we woke up no, in no, our room I know. with uh, Portia Portia ran in to wake us up and took D- us... Walked in nicely. Oh, sorry, walked in nicely. And then we ran after Snake to go meet Nadia. Asra showed up. That's bright and early morning right after we woke up. Are we saying that it was dawn? Is Maybe this, this dawn? Is... It seemed brightly lit on the veranda. It's okay. We have inconsistent backgrounds. This never right. happens. As we walk along the bridge, Astra exhales with a low whistle. <laughs> my my lips are trying. too dry. Hold on. Nope, my lips are too dry. Sweet. Yes. Whee! Uh, scanning the horizon. The balance has changed. The Jemelin remembers me. Not sure that's a god. Uh-huh. I mean, clearly they don't. Also, again, like, is it when the have same guard here? Are they the same guards, dear? Chamberlain could be the same. Ah, uh, and uh, oh, oh, no, that's great. That's 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 it. And Snadia, the question goes unspoken, but his gaze slides away wistfully. This is so fascinating. Like, okay, oh. the the writing in here is so much more like. We really were really excited. We had a very specific direction we were going for. Like, I don't know how to explain where the writing, especially after playing the other two, 
seems far more like, again, more like an involved story. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more little interesting asides. There's a lot more interesting notes. There's a lot more exposition, it feels like, in reference to who you are and what's going on. Mm -hmm. But also, it seems very thoughtfully paced. Yes. Uh, because, again, you're starting out not knowing any of it, but in the middle of the action, mm -hmm. as it were, and then slowly moving forward. Right. And, just... and also backfilling that information as Yeah, you because along. we never got a moment really like this. I feel like, I really, I don't, this doesn't mean that the other routes are written poorly. I'm just like, they feel execution wise. Accessible. Yes. That one. It's very least, different. Certainly, yeah. So, I was thinking we could stop first at the market. The night market or the pre done market? Uh, we need to fill up on something. I want to stop for bed. Do you think it is ready yet, or do you think there's any left, depending on what time of day it is? Whoa. I don't ah. think I woke up that early, so I'm thinking it is night time. But if it is night time, we've already lost the entire day, and usually the bread is gone. Also, I would adore it if Portia came to come get you, because Nadia's like, as soon as I wake up, mm -hmm. and if she's an early riser, mm -hmm. like I thought she would be. Yeah, because she wants to get stuff done. She's a go-getter kind of thing in that in that way, in that stereotype. Like that, yeah, yeah. Not necessarily saying that somebody who wakes up later isn't a go-getter, but I'm just like, for her... But the stereotype is that you start your day early, so you have more time. Which I'm just like, this would have confused me even more than going to Nadia's route, because her suddenly being, quote, so seemingly lazy. Well, so so disengaged. Yeah. And wanting to basically run off and do other things to use, that uses up time. And again, that doesn't necessarily mean I would have that, because there is some level of going, we've barely seen her in this. Uh -huh. You've really got to say that's a huge extrapolation to make, and it's not like we don't do that, but I still am like, that's a very distinctive behavior. I difference. suspect it's not actually starry outside. That's my suspicion. Yeah. And that that's just the and <laughs> bread. One, two, stuff your bread. You need the energy. We'll be trying the limits of your magic today. Will this is really done. You doing what? Ah, uh, really? Uh, the limits. Yes, the limits. As far as I can go. Uh huh. With you, with my magic. Okay. The prospect is thrilling. I will admit, is very thrilling. We both <laughs> know I've gotten stronger since you saw me last. We like in for in person. You mean last night? I mean, before that. <laughs> Excited? I am too. Are you? He brushes his shoulder against mine, and, <laughs> big, big, big. and we make our way off of the palace grounds, down into the city. I am flushed. I am not sure that he touched me this much um, last time we were in, like, actual person together. And he still hasn't answered any of my questions. Wait, I have questions! Hang on, I haven't thought about the questions because he just spent about... Four minutes squeezing me tight while talking to Nadia, I'm a little overwhelmed. And Faust was sitting there going, Going, yes, pet, he's pet. good, he's fine. Yeah, I pet you with my tail. It's around noon, so that was pre-dawn. When we reached the market, and it's a really long walk down here, it's in full swing, lively and crowded. Wish we had gotten here earlier. It was such a long walk from the palace. I was about to say, that's an enormous walk. It is half a day walk. We have shown this over and over again. That it is like half a day walk from the palace to the market. It's really far away. Your palace is completely fucking nonsense. I'm sorry. I'm going to bring up the fact. Okay, so there was this lovely person who was like, I study castles. People always poorly use castles in media, like mm -hmm. in entertainment media. Castles are the center of your trade, your commonplace, your market. Your they are commerce. in it. Mm -hmm. They are... The center of all the shit happening. And if you have to leave the castle to go to the market, you've done a wrong. Unless you're going to a different market, because most cities have several markets. Yes. Not the market, it's the uptown market. But it's like the downtown market. The, the fish castle market. market. Uh-huh. The the central market. But I'm just like, I but really they were just like, you're doing it wrong. And I'm like, I have realized that going, actually that's true. Because if you're really being accurate about it, even in other countries. That's why you have the big, huge, sprawling grounds, so everybody has easy access to wander around. And the massive courtyards and things where, when you walk into... So the thing is, is... You have your entertainment. When you walk you into your... the gated city in your medieval movies, that's part of the castle. Yes. That. That. Okay. Yes. Ah. It's lively and crowded. I try to keep a careful eye on Astra. I tend to lose him in a crowd, despite how striking he is. Hey, close go high. I'm always losing your crowds. You say that about me, but I am losing you. Are we, we like not... this tall? No, we are not very good at... What it is, is we are both um, easily distracted, and he also is very interested in avoiding things, but mostly we do our own things. 
And so suddenly I am looking at something and he is looking at something and we are and very different places. Apart. Yep. Yep. Honestly, though, that's not necessarily losing. You just be like... My, and then you look up and you're like... Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I've done that before, but usually you just go. Okay, so we know we usually lose each other. We wander off and do our own things, even though we're still here together. Uh -huh. We're gonna meet up over there, okay? Or quietly. Uh, uh, Marco, Paulo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always losing your crowds. Uh -huh. I stare at him, blinking. I'm really confident that is how I think of you. He gives me a curious look. Yeah. How about you stay close? How about we hold hands? You know what? I, I totally would go for the holding hands because we clearly have stayed close before. If we, if this is always happening, I posit that they and have also, tried other things. Okay, so you're gonna have to forgive me. Part of the reason I also think you'd have that is you'd be emboldened by the fact that Astra has fucking touched you a lot. So uh huh. Like, we've even talked about we're going. Astra seems very. We dissing. even kissed him, uh -huh. which I assume was a first kiss, though it wasn't stated, but it seemed to be a big deal. Yeah. Um. My my thought at this point is just going. You're gonna fucking try to hold his hands because um. He has been touching you, and you're he very has, excited about he it. He has been doing the, the extreme touching, and, so and your like, invitation is there, and I don't think Gohai is uncomfortable or hesitant. I think it's the, again, I don't want to scare Astra off or chase him away. I don't want to basically intimidate him to a point where he withdraws. Right. But I definitely am open to pursuing him. Right. Yeah, so we're going to, how about we hold hands? <laughs> Especially since we have already held hands and we're walking through the dream world that way. Uh -huh. A flustered smile steals across his face. It's very cute. Oh my god! Mm, I feel his... And he doesn't withdraw from me? He... Gentle fingers curling around my palm. And oh my we god. are holding hands. I uh, know mm. you. Uh, you mean like we used to? Uh, Wait, what? Well, because, you know, if we were young, uh, uh, rather, if we didn't have any memory and we needed help le learning things and getting around, Amazing. I would lead you around. I want to have more information. You mean like we used to? Me. I have always gotten the impression from all the other stuff that you were not very touchy. And that no one talks about the past, even the past we remember. Yeah, which is really strange. Yeah, I only remember three years, but we never talk about it. Which seems weird. For Except that, you know... Which especially seems weird if they're going to establish and say, this is sort of the thing you're supposed to go with with all the other routes, which uh -huh. is an extrapolation to make. But, uh, like, wouldn't that mean, though, that you'd still talk about it because you'd be super obsessed with your past, so you'd well, always constantly talk about, well, the only things you remember are this even, and this, and I, write, I wrote down everything! Even if you're not obsessed with your past or your memories or anything, right. it's just a, when you talk to people, you often refer to previous events. You often like things just normal, to other things. That's just normal behavior. You often yeah. go, remember the last time we had pumpkin bread? Oh my goodness. <coughs> <Ooh>. <coughs> too fast, too fast, too pardon, much excitement. Pardon, <clears throat> Just the, oh, the last time I saw you wear that was. The last time we did this was. Hey, do you remember that time we such and such? I want to do that again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, saw. even if that you just have a casual, like God, I always love this bread. Every time I've come down here, like, uh -huh. it's a really casual, like, you don't have to go into serious amounts of depth, but it is really weird. Or it can be, I haven't seen that jewelry seller for two years. Do you remember when we first saw their stand? Yeah. Mm hmm ah, You know, like, you mean, uh, like, we used to. It's been a while since then. You don't need me to hold on to you anymore. And I'm not as paranoid about losing you? That's not what I was saying, yes. Wait, what? So that means actually he used to touch us a lot? Or he used to hold our hand a lot because he was worried about losing us. Like, the, the exposition here is actually pretty strong of going... No, no, I'm just like, that's wild! Mm -hmm. I'm having this, like, he used to touch us a lot? Or specifically hold our hand, at least. But I'm like, I can't get... So do you understand what I'm talking about? I'm like... I he has been so deeply hands off at every other route. He's never had like any contact with us like at all. Well, and that's also what I thought was really weird about the other routes too. Is I'm like, again, all this thing of going, no, he's really close to you. No, also, he has all these things, and I'm like, he seems the most handsy offy. Like, don't talk to me. I don't exist. I'm not in here. In Nadia's routes, you even admit that you two share a bed, uh -huh. and that it's very normal for you to cuddle up and sleep together. Yep. And so, but then he never touches you. Yeah. And, like, you don't hug when you greet, you don't shake hands, he doesn't, like, pat you on the back, put his arm around I you. He was right. They're afraid. They're trying to isolate you from all the other characters whenever you're in a route with one of them, it seems like. Yeah. And trying to dis distance you from them so you don't feel close to them because but they're that's... afraid. Because they don't... I would suggest 
because they're concerned that you won't be having a platonic experience with them or a familial experience with them, depending, and that instead you'll go, oh no, more spice, and thereby be distracted from what's supposed to be the focus. Now, that's not guaranteeing that that's what that is. That's speculation, but that's mm -hmm. what it sounds like. From now, uh, two and a, a chunk of root. Uh, so it's not a big exposure chunk. to three roots. It really does feel like they do try and actively distance you from the other characters. But in each of the canons of those, um, those roots, everybody's really attracted to you. Like, your love interest is very instantly attracted to you. Mm -hmm. So unless, again, you're in a serious AU... Everybody's still really attracted to you when they meet you. They're just not allowed, story-wise, to flirt with you, be interested in you, be friendly towards you, because you haven't picked them in an ethereal sense, because you never tell anyone you've picked them. That's interesting. Wild. All right. I, still, he weaves his fingers easily with mine. I have missed this feeling. Oh. You don't need me to hold your hand. But you could. You, you could? Maybe you can mm -hmm. do something you don't need to do. Mm -hmm. And like maybe that you just want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Faust? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, you smell that? Grips your hand a little tighter to talk and talks about something else. I sniff the air. There are so many smells already, but also cardamom, clove, nutmeg, and pumpkin. It's, it's the, the bread. bread! It's the bread. The whole market smells, but I can pick out the smell of that bread over everything. Must be coming out of the oven. Let's get in there before they rush. We make our way to the booth. You mean, like, a new batch must be, because he always bakes starting before dawn, and we've missed the first two batches. Uh, well, I think that's probably what, what But what yes. Mean, yeah. Yes. But also, like, sometimes you don't want fresh, like, straight out of the oven because you can't fucking eat it. I was going to say, sometimes, it depends on the type of bread. Some breads are not meant to be eaten right out of the oven. Yes. Like, to get them to the consistency of what they're supposed to be and the experience of them, uh -huh. you have to let them cool first. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, me, different breads. Oh, yeah, absolutely. To the booth and the crowd parts for us. It always does. Yeah, it parts for um, Corazon, too, because they are scary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Always does. Indeed. Yeah, that was you, wasn't it? I thought it was you. It might have been me. I don't. Well, you know what? We're starting again. <clears throat> well, if it isn't go high and Astra, together again. The baker wipes flour from his brow and gives us a smile. I love people who have done mm -hmm. fan art of this baker. It's so much fun. So if if like I have run into it in a few places on on accident. But it's not a spoiler because it's not canon art. Oh, yeah. It's just fun, though. Some the character really designs are some of the most damn charming, like... They're so cute. Some yes. of them are very I fun. particularly like them, honestly. Like, okay, so I have to say, like, I've had a favorite character design. I particularly like them where um, the guy typically... So, so usually it seems like more cis man-leaning is mm -hmm. what I've largely seen. Um, and uh, also, like, I like it when they're stockier. Uh huh. I like so, that like a little. So anywhere from going to you kind of have basically a muscle get experience, uh, or to the strongman kind of like just a bigger person. Because again, a lot of that is hard work and also and labor. A, a bit softer with uh -huh. a bit of like like yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> the baker wipes flour from his brow and gives us a smile. Astra leans on the table, smiling back. <laughs> That's right. How's business? Huh. Better with the two of you around. Go on, have a seat. We maneuver to the tiny table in the corner by the stairs. He has an actual shop, not even just a booth. Wow. With an eating area, which is amazing. It must either one be really popular or there are some breads you can make like that. I think he basically runs it sort of like a restaurant. Um, in the way that you have basically your... Well, sort what of if like, they have like a multi-layered one? Like you can go specifically and you can talk to the baker and he's like, I have my own individual stuff, but I work with these guys over here mm -hmm. and they can make other things. We put them Or together. it could be like the little French bakery we used to go to where oh, they yeah. have a whole bunch of things made up for the day, but then they're also making things throughout the day. But the thing is, is like they also had a restaurant attached to Right, that? but you could just go to the bakery. No, 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 I know that, but also like... But it's light, it's light fair. You that's don't go you... there for a meal, you go there for a snack. But also, though, that was why you and I were like, yeah, but the idea is you come in and then you leave. So bakeries really aren't places where they go, yeah, you should sit down and eat, which is why I'm surprised. I say, but 
Panera started that model. Well, it has done that model, and so have other places. Like bagel shops are a bakery you ah, sit down and eat. but Panera isn't just bread. It's Again, not. you keep talking about other things. I'm like, they're just bread, though. So, like, there's a couple. We of... don't know if he's just bread. He's the baker. Right. He's just bread. But they called Panera a bakery. It's literally called a bakery. What? That's what its official title as a restaurant is. You are fucking kidding me. It's a bakery. Me. It's not a restaurant. What? Yep. Sorry, I'm learning things I never thought of. Because also, okay. I'm like, that's not a bakery. It is. That, but it's not a bakery. I'm like, sure, you bake bread. You gonna call Subway a bakery now? I was gonna say, um, but the don't, but like bagel shops are called bakeries. Like some of them, if they don't sell a lot of other things, because the primary thing they do is bake ba- make bagels. But again, like I've been to a Krispy Kreme, and they like the only reason that they kind of had stuff there. But it was super temporary. Like, you don't usually go into even, like, a Krispy Kreme to go sit down. You go get your donut and you go. I also used to sit down with um, some of my extended family, and we would buy a box of a dozen donuts, and we would sit there with a cup of milk and donuts, and we would hang out and eat and talk for, like, an hour at their little tables. Nothing but donuts, no other food. But I'm saying, like, it's not like... I'm just saying, different bakery culture. Yeah, that, that's fair. I'm like, damn. It okay. also might just be, if you have pumpkin bread, you might also have zucchini bread. You might have uh, tomato basil bread. You might have sa- like really rich savory While breads. While we are all over the world, so More vegetable breads. You <laughs> might have like heavier like rye breads. And you or might also gourd. have like butter uh-huh. and honey. And that's all you need. Those are your dips. Uh-huh. And you just sit there and you enjoy bread. Yeah. <clears throat> on the, uh, Astra sits on the step. Uh, blocking everyone. Oh, and leaves the chair for me. There is only one. Uh, the beggar pours each of us a cup of aromatic brew. Planning to stay a while? You didn't come all the way back from wherever you went for bread, did you? Maybe. I, well, uh... <laughs> Well, you know what? We're going to find out in the next one. So I was having that dramatic pause, him going, I'm awkward. You know, well. Uh, you uh, I think he's being mysterious towards the baker. Honestly. Or he could be, especially with that little smoke. Well, maybe. 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 That's what well. it is. Sounds like he's about to be a little theatrical and cagey. Which is super funny, because I'm like, I never got that he was theatrical. I'm like, it's because Julian's not around, It's it? because Julian is so theatrical, everyone else looks tame comparison. Right. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, thank you very much for joining us. If you like we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also yes. share our videos, please. It actually does a lot for us, even if you just interact with it mm-hmm. by liking. It, uh, it yeah, like it really does a lot in regards to YouTube algorithm. Please also yep. feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi, Patreon, and our Twitch. There are some links in the description down below. We'd love to see you at those locations. And I, I have been scandal. And sometimes we do take a little while to get to comments, but we do read absolutely every one of them, and we will eventually respond. <laughs> Providing YouTube doesn't, like, consume it. Yes. Uh, and, and in the meantime, I have been Lies. <gasps> and it was great playing with you. Bye. Bye.